Yeah, so I have been out of province for the last number of weeks, so I'll take this opportunity to uh, speak to the call to my residents on uh, November 12th. Um, so the call to my house, uh, as you can imagine, was a very deeply personal matter uh, between myself and a family member. Um, and of course, once the police arrived, there's an inherent uh, conflict of interest once the police are on scene. Uh, the underlying issue between myself and my family member is, uh, you know, we're working on it. That I can say that. Uh, so when the police arrive, of course, um, there is a conflict, and I apologize to those officers for putting them in that position where they had to deal with their chief of police uh, and a family member over a private issue. So um, I think, uh, you know, following that, there's been some criticisms, I think, of the board regarding nine-day delay before they asked the OPP to come in. I can only say this, that police officers in the province of Ontario and in uh, Windsor specifically, in regard to our policy, they're required by law to act regardless of um, a conflict of interest that may exist. So, for example, our policy currently, and I have a copy here, the very first sentence of our conflict of interest says, members of this service will at times be faced with, but not limited to, situations or a requirement to act either by statute or position, where the party affected may be another member of the service, and of course, of which I am one. They're, they're required by law to act. Later in the same policy decision, this policy applies to both sworn as well as civilian members of this service, and nothing is in this directive precludes a member of the Windsor Police Service from performing their sworn duties. I think that's critical from this perspective